You know, it's incredibly exciting to be here as we mark the milestone of 15 years from when parentalrights.org was founded. And as we think of what is the future going to hold for this incredibly fundamental and important right of parents to direct the education, upbringing, and care of their children, this is kind of a watershed moment where parents across the nation are speaking out, where we're seeing it discussed, parental rights in the public square in a way like never before. As a parent during the pandemic, we went from public school to private school and now we homeschool. And we feel blessed that we are able to have this choice to be able to choose the best education for our kids. It's personal for me. My wife and I live here in Loudoun County. We have a nine-year-old son and a four-year-old son. We've all seen those videos of parents speaking out at the Loudoun County, Virginia school boards. We've seen the videos of parents across the nation speaking out at school board meetings and elsewhere because it's a fundamental question. Who will raise our children? Who will make the decisions of how our children are to be raised? Well, as president of HSLDA, uh, being concerned about homeschooling, there are two basic foundations in the law which we use to be able to homeschool. And one, religious freedom, and the other, parental rights. So we had cases that supported those, but we had cases against us. We needed a constitutional amendment so that we could uh, ensure that when we defended families for homeschooling, we would be able to assert that we had a constitutional right to do it. I've been here most of these 15 years, and my greatest joy has been some of the amazing people that I've gotten to work with. Volunteers in the states uh, from as early as 2010 and, and earlier, um, right through the present day, folks who are making a permanent difference in their states through the laws they're getting passed, uh, like Jim and Patty Sullivan in Florida last year passing the Parents' Bill of Rights. And then, too, some of our coalition partners who um, don't think like we do on a lot of things, but are in full agreement on parental rights, and it's just a joy to know them and work with them and stand side by side with them protecting families. This is an exciting time to be uh, involved with the parental rights organization. The country is really primed for the work that we do. At the end of the day, no bureaucrat will ever love your child like you do. A mom and a dad who love their child, that's stronger than anything else from the government. And so it's incredibly exciting to be here, to be representing parents, and to be marking this milestone, because it's working with parents across the nation to protect this fundamental right. Parents, let's see what we can accomplish together in the next 15 years.